Hello everyone! In this video, we will integrate a Firebase into our project for iOS and Android. Before we begin, let's remove the code from previous video in Home View file, which we used to style our custom app theme, and place an empty scaffold. Next, let's stop the app and integrate the Firebase. Go to the pubspec.yaml, scroll down, and below our get package, place these three packages. Firebase Core, Firebase Auth and Cloud Firestore. Then save the file and pubget will run automatically. Ok, next go to the console.firebase.google.com website and create a new project. For the project name, write chat app. Then click continue. Let's disable Google Analytics for this project. Then click create project. Then, let's first set up a project for iOS. Click on Apple icon. Type app bundle com.offflutter.chatapp. You can use your custom one if you want. Next, in app nickname, type chat app iOS. Click register app button. Next step, we need to download Google service info file and we need to place this file into Xcode project where app delegate.swift is located. So, go back to our project and find an iOS folder. Right-click and open in Xcode. Now place downloaded file inside runner folder. Click Finish. Then click on that file and copy reverse client ID. Now go to Runner, Target Runner, Info, Expand URL Types and click plus button. Paste reverse client ID to URL schema. And that's it. This step is required because we will use phone authentication. Go back to our console page and click Next. Then Next and click again Next. Finally, click Continue to console. So we just created an app for iOS. Next, we're gonna create an app for Android. This is very important step for Android users. Make sure that package name is the same as on Android mainface.xml because if you create different one, you will have to change it later in Android files. Type the same package name that was used for iOS and app nickname chat app Android. Next, we need to add sign-in certificate SHA-1 since we need to use it for phone authentication. So click on the question mark icon and navigate to the page. Scroll down and copy the command for Mac or Linux. Open a terminal and then paste the command. Press Enter. Then for password type Android. Everything is lowercase. Hit Enter. Then copy SHA-1 fingerprint and paste it in the box. Then click Register app. Download Google service file. And then place it inside Android root app folder. Click on Android folder, App folder, and place the file here. Then come back to the web console and follow these steps listed below. Click Next and continue to the console button. Great, now we are going to enable the phone authentication. Go to the authentication and click get started. Next click on the phone and enable it. Next let's add a test phone number with pin that we can use while we are developing our app. So as you can see we now have our test phone number and verification code that we will use. Click save button. Great. Next step, click on the Firestore database and create a database. Select Start in test mode and click Next. Firebase location will be US Central and click Enable. Awesome, we just created a Firestore database. Go back to our project and in Terminal write Flutter Clean and Flutter Pub Get. Ok, next initialize the Firebase into our project and launch an app just to check that everything is running and we don't have any problems in future development. In main.dart file, make main function asynchronous. Then type widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized. And then type await firebase dot initialize app. And make sure to import the firebase core package. 
Awesome, now if we run the app, we will get an error. The problem is that we need to set up deployment iOS version higher than current 9.0. Let's set it to 13.0. Open Xcode, then in general tab set iOS to 13.0. Then select Project Runner and set their deployment target to 13.02. Awesome, now if we run, everything will be successful. Just in case, the first iOS build might take some time to build. Ok, that's pretty much it. As you can see, everything is running properly. In the next video, we will be starting building authentication page. Thanks for watching.